Okay. All right. So um, welcome to this uh, session on using Zoom for remote training and teaching. Um, so it's part of the professional um, practice of integrating ICT, as this is what we're looking at at the moment. Um, so this is what we're going to be looking at today. Um, we're going to be reviewing um, how to prepare to use video conferencing and e-safety. Um, we're going to look at ideas for using breakout rooms, games, and integrating other digital tools. And we're going to look at some considerations for using Zoom on mobile phones. So raise your hand if you currently are on a mobile phone. Do you know how to raise your hand? Yeah. In the toolbar, yes. Yeah. Use the raise a hand yeah. icon, yeah? If you're using a, a mobile phone. Your you laptop. You're, you're on a laptop, yep. Yeah. Only yeah. if you're using a, a mobile phone. Okay. Actually, I can tell who's using a mobile phone because um, your screen is a lot, it's much more narrower. It's okay, not so right. wide as someone um, okay. using a laptop. Okay. So so can... I'm going to connect on the mobile phone. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Okay. All right. So the next one. Um, so when we're starting off with Zoom or any other type of videoing um, conferencing, onboarding, getting participants uh, used to features of Zoom is an important part of using it. What would you suggest the trainer teacher needs to do? Any ideas? It's not understood. Sorry? Yes, uh, Robert, is that you with your hand up? No. Can you take the question all over again, Julia? Yes, Fred, Hello, Julia. can you say that a bit loud? I can't hear. I mean, we didn't get the question uh, quite correctly. Can you repeat the question? The question, can you see, see my PowerPoint? Yes, I can see your PowerPoint. Okay, yeah, That's I get the, the question. Get the question. All right, okay. Uh, Robert, do you have something to say? Yeah, I think uh, the trainer need to set up some uh, ground rules, like I think the participants to assign uh, phones that is they unmute their audios so they don't get noise from behind yeah. I also like yes they might want to tell participants for example if they don't have much data to um, like uh, switch off the video so they don't see them while they are uh, doing the conference Mm -hmm. They might want to tell participants to write their name, to send in their real names, because at times you see uh, appearing like phone, techno this, techno that, and you don't actually know who the participant is. And um, I also like the idea of uh, creating um, the waiting room so the participants get there and then you, the presenter, you allow them to get to the class. Yes, that's right. Yes, and uh, quite interestingly, I've got someone called Honor 6X has entered the waiting room. I don't know who this person is. Who is Honor 6X? <laughs> I think it's the name of his phone. So should I let him in? <laughs> I think I need to message this Honor person. The person can be asked to identify him or herself. Yeah, 
Yeah, please. Uh, so you can rename yourself. Yeah, because I, I don't know who they are, so I don't want to let them in. <laughs> so I've just told them, I've just sent them a message asking them to rename themselves so I know who they are. Yes. Okay, so thank you, Robert. We're, we're getting on to online safety as well, which is um, an important feature of Zoom. Um, yeah, so here are some ideas for preparing for online training and teaching um, that we've looked at before as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to share with you later um, a guide that we've just put together um, for a group of um, learners who are going to be joining um, a Zoom session um, to give you an idea. It's just introducing Zoom, what they have to do to join a meeting. Um, so keep it basic, you know, don't try to do anything complicated at first. Um, make sure that you have a clear lesson focus with objectives. Um, use visuals as much as possible and personalize your activities. And so we started to touch on online safety on Zoom. So, you know, as Robert said, it's good to have the um, waiting room um, and only admit people who, who you know, um, who is coming to the meeting. Um, don't have the learner to learn a chat. Uh, just have the chat for everybody, um, you know, and make sure everyone leaves at the end of the session. That's quite easy now on Zoom because they just have a button and it just completely ends the meeting. Some other video conferencing calls, they don't have that. Um, so that's um, a review of online safety. Okay, um, so for those who are there at the beginning, of the session. Um, I just showed an activity where I was using the whiteboard. Um, so to use the whiteboard, you need to uh, click on um, your share and the whiteboard will come up and you share the whiteboard. Okay. Um, So I'm just going to stop sharing for a moment. Yes, someone's got um, a noise. I think it's better now, yes. So when you share your screen, you have an option of sharing a whiteboard. And you just click on that, click share, and your whiteboard comes up. Okay, so you can just use this like you would any whiteboard. So you could be brainstorming ideas and writing them down as the learners say. Um, you have a writing tool and you can also type. That might be easier because it's quite difficult to write with that pen. Um, if you have a lot of uh, learners on a mobile phone, it is um, quite difficult for them to see that board and you can't do anything fancy like getting them to uh, use the board with them, with you, like writing on the board together. It doesn't work very well. Um, so that's the board. Okay, so I'm going to go back to sharing my PowerPoint again, or my PDF. So that's using the whiteboard. Now what's good about that as well is you could prepare something beforehand on the whiteboard, which I just did with the warmer. I wrote some words on it. I saved it in my file and then it was ready for me to share. So this is something that you can also like, you know, after a session, save the whiteboard from that session. Then you can come back to it the following session and you can then, con you know, review what you've done and continue with that whiteboard. 
Right. Um, so let's. Um, so the main thing I really wanted to focus on today was using breakout rooms, and we're going to practice um, using breakout rooms. But first of all, um, I'm going to show um, a video um, which has been made by Zoom uh, to. Sorry, Caroline. Yes, you still can't get the sound. Sorry. Um, so this has been made by Zoom uh, to show you how breakout rooms can be used. Okay, so I'm just going to watch this. I'm sharing my video. Hey everyone, Sarah from Zoom here. On this brief video, we're going to show you the breakout room feature to take a large meeting or virtual classroom and split it up into smaller groups or sessions. You'll see that I have already enabled the breakout room feature, which you can find in your settings along the bottom. And that breakout room button will actually be right here. Um, this is a button that only your host or co-host will be able to see. And um, right now we don't have a co-host in the session. If I manage my participants, I can hover over Catherine, for example, to make her a co-host. Well. When we're ready to split the group into smaller sessions, I can easily click this button to the pop-up window asking me how many rooms I'd like to assign out and how many participants per room. Uh, for this example, recommending since there are six people, we can split it up into two groups. I can do this automatically or manually. If we click on the automatic button, it'll create, it'll generate those breakout rooms for us. Certainly if there's anyone I want to swap out, maybe I want to move Michael to the other room, I can exchange him for a different participant. Once I'm ready to open all rooms, I'll click this open all rooms button and our participants will be able to join the session that we've created for them. So we'll slowly see those people join. One thing that's really important to note is that as a host or a co-host, you can actually hop between the different rooms to talk to the participants. Here I have the join button. Now everybody's left to go to the room. I can broadcast a message to everybody and say, uh, wrapping up in one minute. And this will broadcast the message. And then I can close the room which gives them a one minute timer to rejoin our session. We'll give everybody a second to rejoin and I'll show you one or two additional features with breakout rooms. There we go, we can kind of see everybody kind of popping back in. Now everybody's rejoined the main session. You'll see that I have the opportunity to reopen these rooms again, which is really great if you have a very long session or very long virtual class, you can split into these uh, virtual smaller groups as often as you'd like. The additional options here will allow you to automatically close breakout rooms after a specified amount of time. You can also change the countdown timer to be 30 seconds or two minutes if you like. I'll show you a setting where you can also pre-assign folks to be in your breakout room before the classroom starts. You'll want to navigate over to the class that's already been created in your Zoom portal. Under the meetings tab, you can find your meeting scrolling all the way to the bottom, you'll see uh, if we open this to re-edit it, I have the opportunity to pre-assign a breakout room here, and I can create the rooms and upload a CSV with all of my participants in advance so that their names are already populated in the room when I start the session. That's basically how you can run breakout rooms. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, please visit us at support.zoom.us. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Okay. Um, so Zoom has lots of um, very useful videos like that one to show you um, different features on um, using Zoom. Um, so I'm going to share my PowerPoint again. Okay, just admitting somebody else. Uh, yes, I will share the video link to the video later in the WhatsApp group, Robert. Um, okay. Um, so um, breakout rooms um, are good for pair and group work activities. So um, I'm going to be putting you into breakout rooms in probably going to pair you up into pairs. 
um, and you're going to think of um, some activities um, which you could do in a breakout room. Okay, so there, this is the task. Um, now, one of the things about breakout rooms is that once you go into the breakout room, you won't be able to see the main screen anymore. So you need to make sure that you take note, that you know what the task is before you go into the breakout room because you won't be able to see it. Okay, so, um, so the task is, can you think of some activities which you can do in a breakout room. Okay, just a minute. I just need to emit some Doris. Okay, right, so I'm going to now stop sharing and I'm going to uh, So I've got Oops, I'm going to make five breakout rooms, two to three uh, participants. Um, and I'm going to open all rooms. So you should have a message. Click on the message. Oh, you're not in a breakout room. Can you, uh, let me see. Can you click on join, join the breakout room? Do you see a message? Aristri, can you join the breakout room? Can you join? Can you click on the message to join the breakout room?
wow. Hello, hi. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've actually been joining um, quite big Zoom meetings with people all over the world. Um, it's it's um, it's actually a big international social group, and we we use breakout rooms to go and meet people. You know, for ten minutes, then we get put in back into the main room, then we go into another breakout room. <laughs> Interesting. That's a good way to talk to everybody. Yeah. More of a one-to-one -one, uh, conversation. Yes. Okay, I think everybody's back now. Yes. Yes, I haven't lost anyone in the breakout room. <laughs> okay, good. Um, okay, so how was it? Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. And very useful for a special speaking activities. Yes. Okay. And uh, quite interesting. I, I have had the opportunity to use it once, <laughs> yeah. even though the, it was my first time and it was challenging moving, switching through the breakout rooms to monitor the tax, but it was an interesting experience. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because um yeah, you can move, you know, as the host, you can move through the different breakout rooms, yeah. check out, check up on the different breakout rooms like I was doing. Um, unfortunately, I was I could not join the breakout room. I don't quite understand. I kept trying to move him, um, but you do need, you, were you given an op invitation to join or did it automatically move you? No, they gave an invitation for us to join. So we had to click on it. Yes, this yeah, is what I kept it, telling him. Click, click on, on it. it. Yes, yeah. click Maybe on the it, invitation it, it, to join the breakout room. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one one question. One I have a I have a question, please. Uh, when you started the session, we, you recorded it. Now that uh, it is breakout rooms, does the recording continue or how is it done during breakout? If you are recording the session, the recording will just record the uh, main room. Okay. It won't record the separate breakout rooms. And the main room at that time, or how was it functioning? Was it functioning in the background or what was going on in the main room okay. at that moment? So as the host, I am in the main room. Okay. And then I can move myself from the main room into different breakout rooms. So I have the option to join. I can see a list of the breakout rooms. I can see who is in the breakout room. And then I can move myself uh, to the different breakout rooms. Okay, sorry, coffee, you have sound issues. Okay, all right. So I can move myself and check up on everybody. And then if, um, you know, at the, you know, unfortunately, Aristide was still in the main room and could not join a breakout room. So I kept trying to move him and telling him to click on the invitation to join the room, but he didn't quite understand, so. Um, yes, 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 definitely. Hello, Julia. So I was moving along. Yes, Anastine, yes. Yes, I I feel that uh, when we have a, a participant who doesn't, uh, who, who can join the breakout room, there's also a possibility to assign him automatically to a breakout room. Yes, yes. Yeah, my, my um, Zoom was not giving me um, the option to do that at the moment it was just yeah but i do know that is possible okay okay hello um, julia i have a question yes yes is it possible in the in the in the breakout room to uh chat with uh members of the room or participant in that particular given yes. room yes you can okay yes. because i tried sending a message to um, Mr. Aristide, he was having difficulty joining the room, but I, did, I didn't. I didn't find that option. I realized that the message were, or the message was going to everyone. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's it going possible? to everyone. It looks like it's going to everyone, but actually, it's going to people. People can see it from that chat room. Okay. Uh, 
I I feel that if you are if you are addressing a message to an esteem, then you go to the chat box and there is a section highlighted there. When you click on the chat before typing, you see send to. And so if you are sending a message to an esteem, you precisely have to choose my name. If not, yes. the message will go to everyone. That's a possibility. Yeah, I, 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 I did that. I have just one or two options to everyone and to yeah, Julia, yeah, the host. And everyone. Is so I tried that uh, too. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe it's the version of Zoom we are currently using. Really? It shows only host and everyone, no other option. No, it should be the version of the Zoom. Because if it's uh, if it's paid and in fact it depends on okay. the different uh, premiums. Okay. Eight packages. Yeah. Yes, breakout rooms have to be monitored, yes. So as a host you can click on join you can see the list of um breakout rooms and then you can click on join and that will move you between the different rooms to monitor what is going on in each room okay. questions julia yes yes uh can you monitor all the groups at the same time or you just have to be moving from one group one room to the other you just have to move from one room to the other. Yeah, because when participants realize you're around, if they were doing something else, they can change. And when they realize you're out, they continue doing what they were doing, maybe. Yes, but they don't, yes, but they don't know until you suddenly appear. You will yes, suddenly appear right. in their room. So they, you kind of just float into their rooms. You can catch them doing something and they should be doing it. Yes. They don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um let me go back to PowerPoint. Okay. Um Okay, so I'm, I'm going to send around later some ideas um, for using breakout rooms. Um, so here is um, a quick summary. Um, so the, here's some tips, you know, um, like in, the, in that meeting, actually, there was, um, you can, there's a help button there, which actually calls the the teacher, the you know, the presenter, the host, into into that particular breakout room. I can see a message, and then you can go into the breakout room, um, and you can broadcast written messages to everyone. Um, it might be challenging to have more than three to four participants in one room at a time. Um, because the idea of having a breakout room is to have smaller groups so everybody gets a chance to speak. Um, and you can time the rooms as well and have a countdown um, for the room closing as well. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so here's, here's another activity. Um, would anybody like to have a go at being a host to see how the breakout rooms work? I can make <laughs> a co-host. Yes, I, I'd like to be a host. Uh, who's that, Anastine? Yeah, Anastine. Yes, okay, I'm going to try to make you a co-host, okay? Yes. Okay. Hello, Julia. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you please show us how to make someone a co-host. I think okay. that's also an interesting thing. Yes. So, Anastine, I just all I had all I did was um, I found your window. Now, when I click on your window. I have two small windows in the right hand corner. One says mute and the other one has three horizontal dots. 
I click on the window with the three horizontal dots and a number of options come down. Okay, so the first one is mute. So that means I can mute someone who maybe they have a lot of background noise, I just mute them. I can ask them to start their video. I can rename them. Um, I can make them host of the meeting. I can also make them co-host. So I have an option to make them co-host and I have the option to make them uh, co-host. Okay, and I can also hide non-video participants. So people who haven't got their videos on, I can hide them. <laughs> um, but I, I would only do that if I was in a situation where I knew everybody had good connectivity. I wouldn't do that otherwise. Okay. Yeah, so that's how you, so I've made you a co-host now. Um, okay, thank you. So, um, Anastine, um, can you see the toolbar? Mm, toolbar? Yes, yeah, so it's it's got, um, at the top, it's got more. Can you see a function saying more? Yes, more. Yes, click on that. Can you see breakout rooms? Um, not yet. So if you click on more, what happens? When I click on more, yeah. I have disconnect audio chat, view full transcript, meeting settings, maybe because I'm using my phone <laughs> instead uh, of the laptop. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm going to pass on my host rights. <laughs> okay, I'm changing the host to you. Yeah, to James. Yeah. Okay. I, I for the host. Let me try the experience. Okay. Yeah. Go I just host, passed yeah. it on to Anastine. Anastine? Hello. Hello, you're now the host. Yes, but can you uh, click on more? Um more. Yeah, click on more. Can I you see break the rooms? challenges? <laughs> Uh, no, I think the challenge is because I'm using my phone and <laughs> instead of my laptop. I don't master using the phone. Okay, um, can you can you click on? Can you see? Uh, make me host. Um, when I click on more, I do not really have more uh, enough options. I have the recording option. I have view full trans. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe you make someone else while I try to join the meeting on my laptop. Uh, okay, but you have to give me the host right though, that's the thing. Um, uh, okay. Can that you click on my name? <laughs> yes, uh, to give you the hosting rights. Yes, give me the hosting rights back. Click on my uh, name. Okay, okay. You're, I've given you back the hosting rights. Okay, okay. All right, I, I opt to be the host. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, James. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make you the host now, okay? Yep. All right, Julia. Yeah. Okay. Okay, James, can you click on more? Options, view options. From from view options. Click on nice more. Present. Okay. Do you see breakout rooms? Uh. My screen hasn't changed. What? You should be the host now. You're the host. But I don't see any. Okay, breakout room. I've seen breakout room. Yes, you've got right -click breakout rooms. Okay. All right. So okay. what you're going to do is you're going to put everybody in a breakout room. Okay. So how many people? There are nine people. Nine. So how many breakout rooms do we need? Uh, maybe three. So maybe need, breakout rooms. Three members. How many each. breakout rooms do you need with nine people? Uh, three. Three, three breakout rooms. Okay, so you can make three breakout rooms. So our task is to take something to the breakout room and share it with others and make up a story with the objects. 
Uh, okay, so me, James, can you assign the rooms? Yeah. So everyone you should they, click on the invitation they, that they receive. All rooms. Okay. I've chosen an option, create an uh, automatic option. Yes, automatically create uh, the rooms. You yeah, can yeah, do two, manual as two, well, three. but that takes time. All right. Admit. Good. After doing that, what next? Uh, click on the sign. I've received a, a, a message from an, uh, uh, saying that Ernestine has uh, wants to join a room. Is that what it's supposed to be done? Yeah, just admit her. Yeah. Yeah. I admitted one person. Okay. Can someone turn off them? Who's got that sound? <laughs> Ah. I'm so I'm gonna see is that you. <laughs> Add two devices on in the same room. All oh, right, one. okay. James, can you can you start the breakout rooms? Uh stop. Start them. Okay, options. Let me go to options. Yeah, go to breakout rooms. Set set countdown timer, sixty seconds. Um, maybe you reduce. Let me reduce to a few seconds. 15 seconds. Uh, open all rooms. I see open an option to open yes. all rooms. Yes. Is that possible? Yes. yes. Click on that. Yes. Okay. All right. And now we click Close on the invitation and join the break. Join. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Join uh, breakout room one. Yes. Okay, we want to join. You've muted me. <laughs> Hi, James. You're on mute. James, you're on mute. Unmute yourself. James. <laughs> James. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. He's on mute. James, you're on mute. Yeah. <laughs> James. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, James. Ooh, okay, now welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> it was a great experience. The whole, yeah. the whole thing forgot himself. <laughs> hello, hello, James. That was a good that was a that was a good one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. I, I thought I would get 
I will get lost somewhere. No, at least you are you are still you are still on honeymoon. You cannot get lost. James just recently got married. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. You have an extra feather on your cap. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> have we got everyone, or have you lost? Something? Hello everyone. Hello, yes. Robert. Yes, but like, I just have this question. Why did James not go to all the classes? Because I didn't see him in our room. Really? Really, Robert? I came there. You even show one of your students. I, I, no, I, I met you with Padida discussing about your school. So we went off talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but we, we, didn't, we didn't see you, James. No, it means that Robert was so involved in the discussion that he really? didn't notice the host. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't notice the host as well. James didn't show his face. Yes. Okay, I was there. <laughs> I've okay. been there all my <laughs> Okay, thank you. Wow, really interesting. James. Really interesting, yeah. That's good. That's thank good, James. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Uh. James, could you make me host again? All right. All right. <laughs> What, what should I click to do so? Where should I click to make you host? Participants? You click on my name. Click on my window. And, all right, yeah. Great. Yeah. More options. On the, on the options, yeah. Make host. host. Yeah. Make me host. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> that was great. Okay, yeah. So Zoom is useful like that because you can um, pass the host post around um, like that as well so you can like share share the presentation um okay hello julia congratulations yes, james thank you robert julia yes <laughs> i have a question hello yes yes please okay uh for example uh, if i want to use it with my students yes can I just uh, give them different activities in different break rooms and just come back in the host room, room to do the debrief? So come back into the host room and do what? The debriefing. Yes, yes. Then you would come back into the room again. Okay. Um, and then, yes, that's where you would um, do um, the debriefing, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. It's my first time okay. to be in the break room. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, here's some um, ideas for games you could play um with zoom okay so have a look at these words okay i'm going to in a minute show you another slide with some missing words so remember what these words are. So which four words are missing? Oh. Okay, dogs. <laughs> There's cold, cold. Google dogs. Oh, yes, uh. Look. Mm. Zoom, zoom is miss. Ah, no, no, zoom is still there. Zoom, zoom. What's missing? Uh, what's missing? <laughs> Google. What's up? What's up is missing. What's up is there? I can see what's up. Uh, what's up is there? Oh, what's up is there? Now. <laughs> I couldn't know. Oh, it's out is missing. A hoot is missing, yes. <laughs> yes. Um. Skype. Skype is missing. Yeah. It's what? Oh. Uh. 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 
Okay, let me show you again. Oh. <laughs> PowerPoint, email. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Click great. Google Doc. Email, I think email. Is that, yeah. Also, that we're not there. Okay. All right, so that, that's one possible game you can play. Um, another one, which maybe also would be a good um, breakout room activity as well. Maybe you're practicing adjectives. So here, your neighbor's cat or anything you like, actually. So you have to start first with thinking of an adjective beginning with A, so awful, an adjective then begin with B, boring, C, clever, D. Dumb, <laughs> you know, whatever, you know. Discreet. <laughs> and the second example, we've got fruits and vegetables. And the third example, we've got verbs. So, so that could be a, um, another game. Or you could actually have to then, um, the people in the room would have to remember all the words. So it would be like memory as well. So what, what was A? What was B? What was C? So if I was the fourth person, I would have to say my neighbor's cat is awful, boring, clever, and dumb. Then the next person would have to say my neighbor's cat is awful, boring, clever, dumb, and elegant okay um, I'm conscious of time it's now 1229 um, so I think I need to uh, finish this now um, just very quickly um, Quizlet um, is something it's a tool for making um, free flashcards, although it's quite limited if you haven't got a paid for version, but you can still have um, a few versions. Do, um, do I have time to quickly show you? Um, where's my quiz? Um, Oh, I can't find it anyway. <laughs> okay. I've lost that. Um, so some feedback after a breakout room. If the students have got all the participants I able to use the videos, you could do the first one. But maybe that doesn't work if, or if you've got low connectivity. The second one is the teacher could send answers in private chat to one participant. They then check everybody's answers because they've got the answers. Um, and the other two really are also if you have got the use of everyone's relief, you can see the person. Okay. Um, just some considerations for mobile phone users. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult um, to participate using a phone, although it is perfectly possible. Um, it's just that if you're using the whiteboard on a phone, you can't do much apart from draw on the whiteboard. If you want students to type, you should be using Google Documents. Um, so they'll still be able to hear soon and then they can type. Um, if you're going to be using the chat box for activities, don't ask them to do something at the same time, like watching a video, because you can't do two things at the same time when using a phone. You can with a laptop. Um, if you disconnect and reconnect, um, you will lose all the chat. Um, 
box, so you need to say copy it back into the box again if you were using the chat function. So those are things to be aware of um, when using a mobile phone. Um, polls are not uh, provided on free accounts, uh, but you could um, use something we call um, Mentimeter. And then finally, um, just some classroom tips. Uh, you know, so as the host, you can manage people's microphones, you can manage um, people's, you can ask, you can switch people's videos off. Um, for safety, you, you admit only people you know into the meeting by having them in a meeting room, by using a password by using a meeting ID, D. It's important to provide a lesson summary at the beginning. Have a warmer while everyone is getting connected. That's gonna take at least 10 minutes of the time. Um, and then, you know, with video conferencing, try to use it for interactive or speaking activities as much as possible. That's where the breakout rooms come in useful there. And the kind of work, you know, the asynchronous work, so the work that does not have to be so interactive, you know, like the grammar exercises, filling in the blanks, um, writing that can be done, you know, through WhatsApp or Google Classroom or Google Docs. Okay. Um, Okay, so, so that's um, the end of the session today. So I hope that gave you a little bit of experience of, of using um, breakout rooms. Yeah. That was quite interesting, Julia. Thank yeah. You quite interesting. yeah. Um, I think, you know, with Zoom, you know, you really, it's something that you're going to learn a lot from just practicing with it. So, you know, if you could get, you know, get together and, you know, as, as groups in your own countries and hold practice Zoom sessions with each other, you know, that's also, you know, like a good idea to, to practice because that's the way you learn from using these digital tools, by trying them out and practice. That's what you learn. Um, and another thing with Zoom, always make sure but you've got the latest updated version, the latest version, because Zoom keeps changing, it keeps updating. Um, last week there was, um, there was a new version. So if you're having difficulties with Zoom, do check that you've got the latest version because that might make it easier for you to join the meeting. Yes, okay. All right, thank you, James, for your applause. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Fatty. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Thank you. Robert. Robert. Yes, Julia. <laughs> okay, Robert. Would you like to promote your session next week? Yes, I will. Yes, next week on Tuesday if. Uh, the participants agree. Okay. <laughs> I agree, Robert. Beautiful. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm day. I have better internet connection now, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Robert. Oh, great. Robert. Great. Yes. We are in the same break room. <laughs> yes, we were in party. Yeah. We were. <laughs> It was nice discussing with you. So uh, next week we'll be talking about Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a tool. It's we can use Flipgrid for speaking in the classes, and we can also use uh, Flipgrid for connecting students. It really helps promote speaking in the English language class. Wow. So that's what we'll be working on. Wow! Looking forward to having it. 
Yes. So excited to get it. Wow. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Julia. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.